In this Clash of Clans video, we attack with the Frozen Dragon attack strategy. It is one of the best and most enjoyable attack strategies in the game. Incredibly powerful and works across a variety of Town Hall levels, although it is most prominent at Town Hall 12, and that is what we're going to be attacking with in this video, although the tips and tricks will be applied to all of the Town Hall levels. Now, before we get into to multiplayer attacks you need to know how to use this strategy so I'm going to break it down explain what type of bases you're looking for how to deploy your troops and spells and then we will reinforce that education through the multiplayer attacks it's going to be a great one guys so let's dive into it <laughs> Alrighty guys, the first thing you want to look for when you are planning the frozen dragon attack is pathing for the dragons. When you deploy them, you want them to move through an area of the base. And there are a few key defenses that you've got to try and get to first. Now I have never used this strategy before. I cooked up the army, I was ready to go into multiplayer, but I thought, why don't I attack some of these friendly challenges that are available? So I attack this base from Z wrecked it and after I did it I thought it really is a brilliant base to explain the strategy to you so thank you for letting me showcase your base set but into this one you can see that we have kind of two areas to the base and this top area we're going to initially take out with the king queen and then slammer meaning that pretty much this left hand side of the base is gone that means that the dragons can come straight through the other side the only thing you need to be aware of are the buildings to the outside of the base and actually a couple of other dragons are used to flush down that side and keep the main pack of them into the center now the the first defense I look at is the Town Hall. Not because it gives you the star, but the Giga Tesla at Town Hall 12 is probably the hardest defense for your dragons to get through. So you either have to take it early on on your dragon deployment or with your Sui Hero method. You're always going to use a Sui Hero to set up pathing for the dragons. The next key defenses, the Eagle Artillery huge especially when you're trying to path your dragons into a narrow area of the base this can do amazing amounts of damage and that's one of the areas you will be using your freeze spells you're taking i personally take nine but you're taking seven eight nine somewhere in that region freeze spells that's why it's called the frozen dragon the other defense is the air defense and what you want to look for when you're Looking at bases to attack is number one, the pathing. Can you get to that town hall easily? Can you get to the eagle relatively easily? But in terms of the air defense, obviously there's four of them in the base, so they are going to be spread out. Can you get any with your Sui? But these are the defenses you're going to be freezing with the spells but you're not going to just plonk a freeze spell on top of the air defense in this base it's a brilliant example because in the center of these buildings i can freeze two archer towers an air defense and a multi and that's something you want to look for you want to plan out where to use your freeze spells so that you get more value than just the air defense so obviously in this top area i just continue to freeze this until it's down and that's pretty much that top area focus none of them defenses are going to be shooting at my dragons because I'm constantly freezing it moving down the base the eagle one of the buildings you want to freeze I can actually freeze the expo alongside that so I get even better value from the freeze and down to the bottom air defense we can freeze that alongside the archer queen again getting multiple uses of the freeze spell the reason I decided to send my heroes into the town hall is I like to take a couple of wall breakers just to get one layer in, help to create the funnel for my dragons, and there's no multi inferno at this top area, so I don't have to commit a freeze to get my wall breakers in. The king, queen can clear out this area, queen can get the town hall, and even get around to the air defense as well. So let's start the attack. We will continue to kind of pause and explain things for this first attack, then we will get in into multiplayer do some more and hopefully have a bit more fun there as well so the first test wall breaker did set off the little bomb got a little bit fortunate as i spammed the rest of them in thinking i was in the clear and actually there was a small bomb 
So the king comes down this left hand side and as he tanks the archer tower, I thought let's start the slammer deployment early. I don't have to worry about my queen necessarily, I've got a baby dragon to start to funnel because ultimately I need my queen into the base, but whilst the king is somewhat tanking, let's get the slammer in. Reason I decided to send the slammer here is because pathing to the multi and air defense is very easy. Onto the archer tower, to the cannon, to the multi, we're in the center of them buildings and I like to take balloons inside that with a haste spell and in this case it wrecks this entire area. You can take dragons in the stone slammer, you can merge that in with your regular attack, but I like to create pathing. King on one side, queen on the other, or both my heroes and the slammer trying to force the dragons through the middle, or in this example, over the other side of the base. So the slammer comes in, easy pathing path to the multi and then I've just got to be careful with the haste because I want the balloons through that area. Another good example here is that the um, air sweepers are not in the area where I'm using that slammer. So balloons get fantastic value down the bottom, the queen takes down the town hall so I've got key defenses already down in terms of the dragons. Let's pause for a second because I'm about to deploy them Pretty much this left hand side of the base is gone. The dragons can move easily down the right. Yes, there's a couple of buildings which are going to skew a couple of dragons off to that side. Once the air defense is down, granted I could have probably deployed a dragon onto that uh, wizard tower in order to help. But the main thing is that the dragons come through and I reinforce down this side. Just look at the value I got from the Sui method and from the slammer. Brilliant stuff and that's what you want to look for. For. Now in terms of balloons, you've got multiple options. You can play around with the amount of balloons or dragons you like to take. If it's a war attack and you can pre-plan, you might be able to obviously be a little bit more flexible with that. You might use balloons, let's say, to a back-end archer tower, or you might just use them as I did in order to test for black bombs. But I've got two of the dragons, which is enough to clear these buildings, so that I have that nice self-funnel of the dragons into the center. And this is where I have an adaption of the frozen dragon strategy in that you can use the healed frozen dragon so basically you can use a heal spell right in the center here as all of the dragons clump together why would you do that why would you not just use the freeze spells in itself well think about this air defense that I'm going to freeze it's only ever shooting at one dragon if I can freeze let's say an archer tower as well I, I'm protecting two potentially three at a maximum dragons Whereas, when I use the heal spell in the center, look at all of these dragons that are through to that area. They're probably not going to have gone down before that top area. I'm going to be healing probably nine dragons. That is so much better value than two freeze spells, but you want to be using them freezes anyway. You've got enough of them, I like to take nine, and you should have kind of a mental check note in your head as soon as the freeze is about to finish, you want the next one in. You don't want the air defense to even get a single shot. And this is where you should have an idea of where you want to use your freeze, but you should be adapting as well. So I shift my focus across to the expo because I felt like that's going to do more damage now than the archer tower. At this point, I don't really have to worry too much more. My dragons have funneled in. Good use of the dragons on the outside to continue doing that. I froze the eagle and the expo, and as the freeze is starting to wear off, look, I already have the next one coming in as well. But I decided to use the Grand Warden's ability to try and just help me through this area. I actually catch a black bomb there. You want to try and... Use your Grand Warden's ability through an Eagle Artillery Fire, but ultimately through the center of the base where they're more likely to be taking more damage. But don't necessarily use it at the same time as the heal. Use one or the other, interchangeable, but I probably wouldn't recommend using them both at the same time. So now that that central area is down, like I said, a couple of dragons do steer off to the wizard tower, but my main focus is the air defense at the bottom. So look at this small range archer tower, just about to be in range of that dragon, and I can clip that alongside the air defense, so I'm freezing that. As soon as the queen steps up and she's about to do damage, I switch. 
I use the freeze on the air defense and the queen, etc, etc. Just use the freeze on the air defense and where else you can get value. If I hadn't have got the freeze onto that air defense as quickly as I did, I might have lost that dragon and that might have been something which affected this raid. Now this is probably what's going to happen. You funneled your dragons in initially, you remember seeing that where the dragons funneled in and then they fan back out again. So it's almost like an egg timer. Think of it like that. They come from one area, they funnel themselves to the center. That's where the heal, that's where the Grand Warden's ability is used and they funnel back out again. But that's where timing can be an issue. Do not waste time in between your phases. But if done right, you should have enough dragons left. Now, before we get on to multiplayer, I want you to quickly go down and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to the channel if you enjoy my daily Clash of Clans videos and you want to see more. On to the multiplayer attacks then, guys. And I've got to be honest with you, I keep finding bases with single target infernos, so they're not ideal. But then I came across this base, which has a good amount of loot. I have been sharing my high loot raids on Instagram as of late, but... The Infernos are busted. How often do you find this? When was the last time you found a base with busted Infernos? Let me know in the comments. But I think it would be a good one to explain to you the strategy. So let's go from there. What I'm going to do is use my king on one side, the queen on the other to kind of naturally funnel down the base here. I can use two loons under that archer tower whilst the archer queen is tanking. And then two loons under this archer tower whilst the king is tanking. I really wanted my queen to get a little bit more value but it didn't quite happen for me. Going to have to press that king's ability as well. What I wanted from the queen was for her to take the um, air defense. But can we actually... Look at them balloons. Look at the loons. Can we... Oh, I for, should have frozen that archer tower and we'd have got the air defense. And that would have been epic. Do the loons get the eagle though? That is such good value. They do. Wow, what a start to this raid. Okay. Um, plan has changed. I guess I can send the Stone Slammer. Let's actually just send the Stone Slammer into this top side. And I think that will be a good area to do that. Where do we send the dragons in though? Where have we got the funnel? Why don't we go with a baby dragon onto the archer tower here. Try and push the dragons in from that other side. Just waiting of the Slammer. See what it does. Should I freeze this or do I just push the loons when they come out. Where do they go? Town Hall or Air Defense? They go to the Air Defense. Either way, guys, we should be able to then push the dragons into the center. Now, we've got to be careful here. Where do we go? And what do we do? Why don't we? Why don't we get clever? Why don't we put a dragon here? I know I'm, I'm, I'm messing around on time here, guys, aren't I? Let's put all 12 dragons into the top alongside the Grand Warden and watch them go to the center of the base. Watch them shred the town hall. And please don't tell me I'm going to time fail against this base. Let's freeze both air defenses alongside the Tesla. And I thought I was going to get the town hall, but I didn't. I can use the Grand Warden's ability. And again, I can freeze the air defense and the Tesla there to help my dragons through. As they come down over, I can then use a heal spell continue to freeze this area should be able to get the queen there as well alongside the air defense we're gonna time fail guys do not tell me we're gonna time fail let's freeze the air defense one final time moving down to the back end of the base we have two freeze spells 30 seconds two archer towers which we can freeze do we have enough dragons to get this one done how early do we freeze the archer towers? I don't want to lose a single dragon here. Let's freeze now because the dragon is getting a little bit low. That is being attacked at the bottom. I think we are going to time fail in fact, guys. Let's use the freeze again on that archer tower. 13 seconds. It's getting incredibly slow. 10 seconds. Oh my word. We're going to get 99% because I've been messing around. Should have got the 100. It is going to be 99. Oh, the irony. <laughs> Okay, guys, you got to see how to funnel the dragons, but get them in a little bit quicker. Don't time fail. Let's do one more attack for you guys. Okay, let's see if we can get this one done. I'm not going to time fail, but I do recognize there's a ground expo here, and I should be able to snipe a couple of the defenses over to this side, or the air defenses, should we say. So let's try and do that. Let's go with one wall breaker, then another two, and that should allow my queen 
and the king into the base. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's use... Do we use the baby dragon yet? Let's see where the queen goes. Yes, let's use that baby dragon on the side. Try and focus my king and queen in. Let's go with wall breakers pushing through this area. Try and help through. Are the wall breakers even going to do anything? They do. They do help. If we get to the multi... Where are they going? Oh no! Why did the king not redirect and go in? I would have got so much more value if my queen had have got in to that area, took the archer tower, took the enemy queen. That would have been tremendous, but it doesn't happen, guys. My queen continues through the base, and at least we will be able to get the bottom air defense here as well. Oh, I don't have a haste spell. I have two poison spells. How often does that happen to you? It all started off well, and it is all going wrong from here, guys. The air defense falls but I would have been able to get through had I not have had an epic fail with that so let's go with two balloons let's now go with the ten dragons from this top area followed by the grand warden and what can we do can we get this one done let's use the freeze onto the air defense slacking already guys freeze here and let's freeze again air defense the tesla the um, Expo, Expo, couldn't think of the name of it. The Expo is frozen as well. Now let's freeze the Town Hall and the Tesla as best as possible. And the Grand Warden statue for that matter. The Grand Warden statue is tremendously powerful. Trying to use that Grand Warden's ability early, but I might have shot myself in the foot. It is well too early to get through the Gigabomb, so definitely not going to be helpful through this area. Going to continue trying to freeze the air defense, the expo, as the dragons come through. Come on, let's get one final bit through this base it doesn't happen 70 percent it all looked good and it all went wrong not having the queen go inside was massive then not having the haste but i'm not making excuses guys we still got the two star it's a comfortable strategy it can get you the three stars but the drag bat is another variation that you want to be using and if you want to see that strategy i've got a video here that will take you to it and you will find that one useful but that wraps it up for this one until next time peace out